Hi there, Eric Backer, naturopath from New Zealand. Thanks for coming back. Question today is heart palpitations, arrhythmia, can it be candida? That's a good question. I've certainly noticed many people going through candida uh, cleansing phases uh, have emailed me or contacted me uh, on follow up consultations complaining about a racing heart. So, why is this so? Why would that happen, do you think? Well, there are many reasons why this could potentially happen. One of the big reasons, um, depending on how high the level of yeast infection is, often is the toxins produced by candida, and also the ability of magnesium to deal with these toxins. I've just done really um, recently a video on magnesium and candida. You may want to watch that one. So magnesium is very important because it helps to stimulate this enzyme called aldehyde dehydrogenase, and that helps to break down this toxin it's very common toxin that candida makes called acetaldehyde. So acetaldehyde can make you feel pretty dull in the head. That sort of crushing sensation when your head feels like it's in a vice. That sort of dull, you know, sort of cotton wool feeling in the head when you wake up in the morning. There's no clarity there. Acetaldehyde commonly does that. Anyone who's had five or six whiskies to drink or a bottle of wine that wakes up in the morning will know that feeling, all right? It's a, that aldehyde, that alcohol toxicity that you wake up with. It's common with candida. Candida makes many toxins like ammonia, urea, gliotoxin. There are many poisons that candida can secrete in its dying phase or in its reproducing phase. Uh, but magnesium is very crucial for the ability to detoxify uh, aldehyde now with magnesium deficiency, what do we get? We get heart problems, very common. People with nice levels of magnesium in their body, if people are having four or 500 milligrams per day, for example, don't usually get arrhythmias or palpitations or heart problems. So if we look at calcium and magnesium, so calcium is very important because it's very important mineral to allow the rate of force and contraction of the heart. Magnesium relaxes the heart, Calcium helps to stimulate the heart, so they work well together. There's also a drug called the calcium channel blocker <clears throat> that blocks the influx of calcium ion into the myocardium, into the heart cells, and that can help to relax the heart and slow it down. But what a dumb thing for doctors to do. They should be giving magnesium to people, not something to block a mineral from you know, allowing the heart to contract properly. They should give magnesium. So if you are watching this right now and you do have a heart palpitation or arrhythmia and you've got candida, take some magnesium. That's going to really help you quite a lot. You know, Have a look at Canzita Rebuild. That's got magnesium in it. It's got many other minerals in it that are going to help you. And also eating um, foods that are high in magnesium like pumpkin seeds or some Brazil nuts or a few almonds, some deep leafy greens like spinach. You're going to get magnesium in this. So that's going to help you a lot too. So heart palpitations can be candida, and magnesium is one of the best ways to counter it. And the other good way is to take some omega-3 fish oils. So take one to 2,000 milligrams per day. That will help you also. And the third, or the other reason um, I didn't speak about was people with high cortisol or stress, because that can amp the heart rate up considerably. When we're in the alarm phase of stress, or we get anxiety, boom, 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 boom. Okay? And how do we counter it? Slow, relaxed, deep breathing. Okay, that really helps to counter palpitations. So now you know what to do. Some nice, relaxed breathing exercises, some magnesium supplementation, and maybe eating some foods high in magnesium, and dealing with your candida infection. Thanks for tuning in.